Good morning. Today is Thursday, 19th of November, 2020. And once again, you are, you are welcome to our daily devotional for today. The title of our topic for today is Healing for God's Children. Healing for God's Children. Our text is taken from the book of Psalm 103, verses 2 to 3. And I read, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Our memory verse is taken from Exodus 15, verse 26. Exodus 15, 26, and it says, And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he led thee. It is possible to live a life without diseases and sicknesses, and it is possible to live a life getting healing from our sicknesses from God. We've seen cases where people give testimonies of of them not visiting the hospital for a long period of time. We've seen cases of people not even going, getting sick at all. For instance, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, in today's devotion, spoke about him not for 40 years, he has been divinely healed by God. That means, that's an example for us to know that, okay, it is possible to live a life of divine healing by God. Now, how do we get to this level? The only way to get to this level is by holiness, living a life of holiness. When you live holy, automatically, you, anytime you feel a little bit healed or anything, you, you pray and you lay your hands on, on your body, you get divinely healed. The only barrier to this experience we are talking about is sin. Sin will make us not ex experience the total healing God has made available for his children. So I'm imploring us this morning that the, for us to live and experience divine healing from God as God's children, we have to run away from sin. An example is also in, in the Bible when Jesus met the man at the pool of Beth Bethsaida. Jesus told him after healing him that he should go and sin no more. That shows that, okay, if he had avoided sin in the first place, he wouldn't have stayed, spent all his years, over 30, 30, 38 or thereabout of his years, by the pool of Bethsaida. So, a lot can be avoided. Sickness can be avoided if we live a life of holiness. So, to live healthy without sickness, all we need to do is to avoid sin. This morning as we go, I pray that the grace to experience divine healing as God's children, God will give it unto us. And the grace to live holy and enjoy the benefits of holiness, God will also bestow on us. God bless you. Have a beautiful day ahead.